After years of testing, I can finally tell you which of these gloves are the best for mechanics. Sorry about that, I didn't even say hello. Hey, how you doing? Now we'll get to the rubber gloves here in a minute. Let's talk about these mechanics gloves. On the palm, it's got a faux suede material. It gives you good grip when you're gripping metal or your tools or something like that. It's got a non-slip feel to it and I like that. Also, the fingertips on there, you can use with a touch screen. Now one thing that I really do like about these gloves is that I can take them off and then put them on really fast. Even with my hands being sweaty, you just grab here and pull them on. It's got this elastic around the wrist. We're not worried about that Velcro closure. I do like these gloves, but the fact that they're not oil resistant and they blow out on the fingertips pretty quickly and they're expensive, I wanted to look for an alternative and that's where I found these. It's just a regular nitrile coated palm cotton glove. It's got spandex material on the inside so it stretches. The logo came right off of the back of the hand. This happened on the first day that I got these. This is my test kit. I wanted to see what these were like compared to mechanics gloves and they passed with flying colors. I really like these gloves. It's got this nitrile palm and fingertips on there. So if you are working with greasy or oily parts, this will resist that for a little while. These aren't impervious, but they last a lot longer than these do. Also, no seams in there. Like this one has these seams. These are seamless. It's almost like, you know what it feels like? It, when I put them on, it feels like I'm putting socks on my hands. These are like hand socks. So I do like that about these gloves. They feel a little bit more form fitting and I can manipulate smaller screws with my fingertips or smaller tools without having all of this bulky glove material getting in the way. Also this here on the wrist, it does get in the way if I'm in a tight spot and I pull my hand out, this will pull on those parts and I'll get stuck. Not so with these. But you can see right here on the thumb and right there on the forefinger, this is where they wear out the quickest. For the price of one pack of Mechanics brand gloves, I can get an entire 10 pack of these Gorilla Grips. I am not sponsored by any tool company, by no glove company. I am not being paid to say this. These Gorilla Grip gloves are the bomb. So I would have no problem wearing these every day and wearing them out because they cost so little. They're awesome. Now when you're doing fluid changes or working with really oily parts, these are the gloves you're gonna wanna use. Those other ones just are not gonna cut it. In every video that you've seen me do auto repair and if I'm not wearing the mechanics gloves, I'm wearing these right here. These are the thick boys. 14 mil latex rubber gloves and they fit great. They feel good. They have a good stretch to it, good tackiness on the fingers so I'm not gonna be slipping when I'm oily and oil resistant. But my favorite thing is that they're 14 mil, super thick, they don't wanna tear. You can have sharp tools in your hands, you can hit sharp parts inside the car and they come back undamaged almost every time. Now they're not impervious, obviously, but they're way better than these here. Now everyone's seen these. These are the Hardy brand from Harbor Freight, Nitrile. These are nine mil, so they're thinner than these and they just don't feel as good. Now these are obviously too big for me. They're not my gloves. I never wear these, but they're not as stretchy. They feel more like a plastic than a rubber. Anytime they catch on a sharp object, they tear super easy. Just, they just come right apart. They have two things going for them. Number one, if you're allergic to latex, you've got no choice, you gotta go with the nitrile. Number two, the nitrile actually do resist oil a little bit better than these. These will start swelling up if you get oil or gasoline on them and you gotta throw them away. These will swell or tear but they'll last longer. So if you gotta keep your hands in oil constantly, these might be the ones to go with, but in every other way, I just don't like these things. I've tried them for years, they never work out. I switched over to the natural rubber and they are fantastic. I'm gonna link this and those other Gorilla Gloves down in the description. If you don't want me to earn the commission, no problem. Don't buy them from there. Just click the link to see what these look like because I'm telling you, these are the bee's knees right here. Harbor Freight buys these 
by the ton, by the boatload. And every store has a pallet of these things. You can get them for just about nothing. But if you want to treat yourself, forget about it. My pick for mechanics for DIY, definitely the Gorilla Grip or really any other nitrile covered cotton glove. These things are great and a Dana Hero gloves. I always keep these in stock. I never let myself run out of them because they are that good. What else can I say? That's all I've got for you today. Check these things out. Give these a try. You're gonna like it. We'll see you next time.